right, this is Mrs. Thompson. The lesson that you're looking at today should be review of things that you've covered in the past. Um, and so I'm just going to kind of go over some things and have you fill in in your notes. Um, we are going to be starting this year working with the integers, but this is things that you should have done last year. What I'm hoping to find out from you is what you know and don't know, so that in the next couple of days I will have a pretty good idea of if there's things you're struggling with. So one of the first things we're going to look at is what are integers. Integers in your notes, as we are looking at those, integers are numbers that consist of the positive, negative numbers, and zero. And actually, if you think of what the integers are, they're the positive whole numbers. Then they're zero, and they're the negative whole numbers. When we talk about what's the absolute value of a number, the absolute value is the distance of that number from zero. So on a number line, we're going to talk about what absolute value is. Now again, these should be things that you've seen before. Uh, I'm going to look at what is um, the symbol that you use for absolute value. And the symbol that you'll often see are these two straight lines that look like this. So those are our symbols that we use for absolute value. As you can see here, we have the negative integers. They lie to the left of zero. Positive integers lie to the right. And as we are looking at those, um, you can see the numbers increase as you go to the right, and they decrease when you go to the left. So when we talk about absolute value, you will see absolute value of a number is, again, what it says in our definition. It is the distance between that number and zero on a number line. So absolute value is going to be written as the absolute value of n. The absolute value of 4 equals 4. It's 4 units away. Notice the absolute value of zero is zero. What about if we're talking about the absolute value of a number like absolute value of negative five? The question is, how far is negative five from zero? It's five units away. When we're asked to find the absolute value, I think, how far is that from zero? So if we're looking at the, um, a seagull is flying at an altitude of 107 feet, and a shark swimming at a depth of a negative 112 feet relative to sea level. The question is, which is farther from sea level? Well, the seagull is actually 107 units away, or in this case, 107 feet. The shark is actually 112. So if we are looking at that, the one that is farthest would actually be our shark. So we are talking about the shark is the farthest from sea level. Remember, absolute value of a number is simply always going to be written this way. So if you're asked to find the absolute value of negative 1, 105, 18, and the absolute value of negative 60. When I see your notes tomorrow in class, I should see this to see how you did. The other thing we're going to talk about and I'm going to be asking you to look at is the rules for integers. So what are the rules to add, subtract, multiply, and divide integers. Remember, our integers are the positive and negative whole numbers. No decimals, no fractions. So what do you do when you add like signs? Now, what I would like for you to do is to give me the rule, and then I also want you to give me an example. So what do you do when you add? You're going to give me the rule, and then you put an example, what about when you add negative 2 plus a negative 3? If you explained in your rule, you now should be able to show me that as an example. Now, I know you definitely know how to add two positive integers that have the like sign. So positive 2 plus positive 3. So you could also do that as an example. Again, adding different signs. Now, you don't have to use my example, but you're going to state the rule first. Where can you look at the rule? You can go to Google. You can go to YouTube. You can put in add integers, different signs, add integer like signs. So you have many options to do that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to give me an example. So again, your example of adding two integers with opposite signs or different signs, negative 2 plus positive 3. You're going to tell me what that's equal to. Again, explain your rule. What about if we add negative 2 plus positive 1? 
The question is, when do you know if your answer should be negative or positive? We're going to talk about the battle of the integers um, in class, but think about that. Subtraction, I think last year your math teachers probably talked about what do we always want to rewrite it. We want to think of rewriting it, and here is my hint to you. A, this is the, and then we're going to talk about O. And again, these are two words. So this one, here's my hint, it's a three-letter word, and then this word back here. So subtraction is always rewritten as blank the, starts with an O. See if you can fill that in. You might want to, again, look at YouTube, look some other places to get some information. Again, you're going to do the same with multiplying with like signs, multiplying with different signs, dividing with like signs, and dividing with different signs. Then I have two key questions that are really important. What happens when you divide 0 by any number? What is your answer? And what happens if you take any number and divide it by 0? We're going to be working on some activities and some worksheets in class. Um, after you've looked at these, so um, for some more examples. So good luck, and I hope this goes well.